the LG V20 user here and today I'm doing a video about Verizon <coughs> so I'm on the bridge.com here and it all says that Verizon support says you should turn on 5G to save your range better so uh, this is pretty much interesting um, so uh, it says that this display the carriers will not this promotion outside the network so basically, this is a bad move by Verizon. I don't know why they would say this. Um, they're basically telling you to turn off your 5G to set your phone's battery, which, um, you know, a lot of people are not going to like that because, you know, they bought a 5G phone and they want to use the 5G on it, of course. That's why they bought a 5G phone, is to use the 5G. So, I mean, this is crazy. So let's go ahead and check this out. And there's a tweet with that from Verizon supported. I don't know if this tweet is still up or if they deleted the tweet, but it doesn't matter if they deleted it or not. It's still someone, uh, it still don't matter. They said it and everyone uh, jumped on it, so even though they might have uh, deleted the tweet, it's still there for young guys to see it. So, uh, it says that despite its relentlessness, promotion of 5G phones, and the fact that it spends more than $45 billion, that spent more than, so despite its relentlessness, promotion of 5G phones, and the fact that it spent more than $45 billion building on a new faster spectrum, the rest of support now is investing people on Twitter to turn off their phones 5G access to preserve battery life. So this tweet was published on Sunday morning, so uh, yeah. Like I said, I don't know if the tweet is still there or not, or if the Ryzen has the link the tweet, I'm not really sure. But it says that Ryzen supports, Ryzen support help, help, helpfully suggested that one way to help conserve battery life is to turn on, is to turn on LTE. Basically, telling users to turn off 5G on their phones. It says if users found their batteries were draining faster than normal, that step would, of course, turn off 5G and they find that has a available. And it's also worth pointing out that you don't actually turn on LTE when doing this step. LTE is always enabled as a fallback for the 5G network. But Verizon is obviously being cautious at it says but Verizon is obviously being cautious so uh, as it not to actually tell its customers to turn off 5G. So you can't turn off LT, you just can't turn it off here. Yeah, so when you turn off 5G it gets directly to the 4G LTE directly. So um, LTE is its fallback network. So if you guys don't get 5G in the area, um, yeah, that's what LTE. So yeah. So here's a tweet from Verizon supported here on Twitter. They said, "Are you noticing that your battery life is draining faster than normal? One way to help conserve battery life is to turn on LTE." So, like I said, if you turn off 5G, your phone will go directly to LTE. You cannot turn it on with it because it automatically falls back to LTE anyway. So, and they tell you how to do it too. They tell you to say like the cellular data options, voice and data, and tap LTE. That's what they tell you guys to do if you guys want to do it too. Can say your battery life is, is to turn off 5G for one way. So, um, yeah. It says that Twitter users naturally pointed out that switching to LTE only would mean turning off 5G. But the helpful support person said it was important to troubleshoot stops to find the root cause of any issues with them speak. Adding the horizon is quickly launching more fancy areas. 
and making updates constantly to improve the speeds. Verizon's, Verizon's nationwide 5G network uses a technology called DSS. DSS, yes. Um, which in many instances is actually slower than the LTE network it's trying to replace. Verizon now its big 5G plans for 2021 last month after formally launching its next gen network in October 2020. Once one of its top priority is expanding coverage to its ultra fast nanometer wave coverage which is currently restricted to parts of the which is currently restricted to parts of some cities in the US. It's also heavily dependent on how close you are to a Verizon 5G site. Says both Verizon and AT and T spent big bucks in the FCC's auction money seven bidding on the C band spectrum. Verizon spent forty five point four billion twice as much as AT&T, 23.4 billion. AT&T's current nationwide 5G network will also, says AT&T's current nationwide 5G network also relies on DSS, which means close to or lower than LTE. The new frequencies won't become available until the end of 2021 at the earliest, and will be available in limited locations first. So, um, I don't know why you would tell your customers to turn up for 5G. You basically tell your customers to turn up a feature that they pay for. You know, they bought they bought, they bought a 5G phone, and of course they want they want to use the 5G phone, of course. That's why they that's why they bought a 5G phone is to use the 5G one. And then that was kind of that was kind of a stupid way of on the rising day. Um, you know, they probably didn't delete the tweet. They probably already deleted it. But you guys can not. But you guys can see it here on thebirds.com here. So, um, yeah, what did they guys think about rising telling its customers to turn off 5G on their smartphones to save battery life? What did they guys think about that? And uh, yeah, I mean. Like I said, if you're, if you're gonna buy a 5G fan, you are gonna use the 5G one. Of course, that's why you bought a 5G fan, is to use it. You know? and you're, you're gonna use every feature on your phone that you can. Best of the 5G is a new feature, and everyone wants to use the newest technology. So, I don't know why Verizon is telling people to turn off the 5G to say better. Like, I don't know why, but it was idiotic, and uh, yeah. So what did you guys think about that? And uh, yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. You have a lot, man. A lot. Peace, rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.